Hey guys, welcome back. Um, trying to do a little intro video. I'm not that good at these things. I always feel kind of awkward. All right. We are uh, needing to stretch our legs. It's been a week since we've ridden bikes. And um, Washington State was getting really ugly. <laughs> it was just like maintaining like 40 degrees at night and 50 and rainy and cloudy. And, you know, which I've been told that's what Washington State does. Um, and but we also needed to get our winter location because we're work campers and now <laughs> so hence the whole trip um, and so we were blessed with an opportunity to come to Somerset California um, and work at the Rusty Wheel Ranch so we got uh, got here yesterday and got everything set up at the campground well at the site anyway it's on their private property but they're turning it into um, like a campground thing like air I don't know Airbnb slash it's pretty cool stuff we'll make another video of that uh, which Frank will be helping the guy Scott with so um, anyways we are in El Dorado National Forest and we're at uh, it's uh, Jenkinson Lake the trailhead is Fleming Meadow so ideally we will um, do this seven and a half mile it's supposed to be a green trail, green blue loop, and then another massive trail system that goes around the lake. Depends on how big it is. We were late to get started today. So, anyways, we got Frank out here getting the bikes ready to go. See how Frank does during the sunshine today. Yep. <laughs> so. Got my fancy new stool. Yes, yes. We're tired of <laughs> trying to lean on outside the truck. So beautiful area completely different than what we're used to so so far the trails are not marked from the start point but I see tire tracks on this one down by the parking lots so very sandy So there was finally a marker that this is trail eight. Holy cow, that's so much sand. Trail Forks has trail number eight as a green trail but the signs out here have it marked as a blue it's nothing technical it's just steep on some spots So, I've been climbing for like two miles already. I hope the, the down is as rewarding. Otherwise, I'm going to turn around and do this trail the other way. has to back way off because it's so dusty he can't he can't see when you're too close to somebody.
What you think? Okay, so that was like, I had to hike a bike for a second there. This is definitely not a green trail. Just because of how steep some of these sections are. But, I mean, either way, you're going to climb up one side or the other. However, there is a forest service road. So I might figure out which way it's the funner down. And then, like, cut off and onto the forest service road. It's probably what the locals do. Look at that. climb again. Really steep climb. And the trees on this side uh, got burnt crispy. So this is the property where we'll be spending the winter. Um, Scott and Patricia Allers, Allers is their name who own it. Um, so this is an old post office right there um, from like the 1920s or something. The previous tenant who unfortunately died at a young age from colon cancer had it moved here because uh, they were either they were saying they were free so you could give the, you know, they were giving the buildings away. You just had to pay to have it moved. So we had it moved here. So he plans on remodeling that. That little building over there is going to be a washroom slash bathroom for guests. Um, I don't know what that is. This is a tiny home that belongs to another couple that uh, come here on the weekends. And then this spot over here is where we will be staying at. Um, I guess... Kind of the idea is there's a lot of work to be done basically um, but they have horses they have two horses and their house is over there um, very very nice couple like I said plenty of work to be done oh you're a speedy dog he's so fast <laughs> Mikey what do you think you like it I think he approves so, um, but Frank, we did have an issue. The, we almost lost the trailer. I had it too close to this edge. I had it like right there where the slide is currently out at. And then there was a couple of factors happening. We were trying to get it level and then it slipped off the blocks and oh my gosh, you talk about having a heart attack. It was so scary. Of course, my cat peed on the mattress, so. Not this cat. This cat's cool. Um, but we couldn't really move it back because he has the power box here and the water. And then the sewer is there. So scooting it back. I, I think the power co cord would work. But um, anyways, completely different forest. We are at about 3,600 feet elevation up a 10 mile long windy road that you can only do about 30 miles an hour on. We got this apple tree right here. We can just come out and pick apples. 